Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Loom. All right, let's load the game here. Uh, last time I was having some trouble figuring out uh, what our next um, our next uh, spell was uh, the uh, the frighten or or scare spell, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's actually D F F D. I, I figured it out off screen for you, so we don't have to waste any more time. <clears throat> but we saw the first two scenes out of the crystal ball. Here's the third. Hmm. There's that uh, that weave again. We're going to head back to these guys, and, and we're going to go past those shepherds now. <clears throat> Use the bell, please. Thank you. All right, exit the area, Bobbin. Hurry, run! <clears throat> One thing Bobbin does not do very well is run. Okay, just more walking. Not a whole lot to comment about, except that uh, you never actually do get to see what Bobbin looks like. So, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> but he is one of the coolest protagonists that I've ever dealt with in a game, so hey. Pros and cons to everything, my friends. Pros and cons. No, oh, there they are. He's back. <laughs> so are we. Yeah, but uh, I'm here to show you that I'm a magician or a wizard or whatever you want to see. So, D F F D. Well, that worked. Funny, I don't feel very scary. In the uh, the disc version, he actually laughs. And says that was fun. <laughs> Let's mess with these sheep. Hey, you! Get away from here! Now I've got to go and round them all up again. <laughs> ah, and you better not be here when I get back. Okay, I believe that's D E F A. We'll uh, we'll see a bit later though, <laughs> just to make sure. But I don't have A yet, so I can't do anything about it. <clears throat> but that is the uh, wake and the sleep, forwards and backwards there. In the disc version, you're going to come back to this spot later in the game. Um, however, right now, um, in this version of the game, the uh, background is completely different from what you see there. Hello 
there. Who said that? Another shepherd. I did. My name is Fleece, first chosen at the Guild of Shepherds. I wish we had time to chat a while and trade some tales, but we have got a serious problem on our hands. What sort of trouble are you having? It seems we've a dragon nearby who has an enormous appetite for fresh mutton. We breed our sheep for extra whiteness, so we cannot keep them on the meadows. She can spot them miles away. By now, the dragon has carried off so many that we may not be able to fill the cleric's order. The cleric? The clerics? I just saw the bishop at the glassmaker's. Bishop Mandible? He placed the order for 10,000 sheep. 10,000 sheep? That's enough to feed an army. Message. Yes, that had occurred to us too. You noticed our increased patrol in the forest. We'll deliver the sheep to the clerics if we can, but we won't trust them. I suppose fighting the dragon will be out of the question. Only a mage can save us. Hmm, I just happen to uh, possess mage-like skills. But uh, enough about that, let's talk about this sheep right here. I see you've noticed my little friend. She doesn't look at all well. She isn't, and my songs of healing don't seem to be bringing her much comfort. Okay, looks like that spell that she just cast was C-A-A-C, -A -A -C, uh, which is going to be the healing spell, and we'll need that later. Hopefully I'm right on that. That's what it uh, sounds like to me, so we'll move on. Goodbye, I'm going to go help with your sheep problem. The flock is out to pasture. You'll find them there. Now, suppose... Go forth, wizard, and may you return safely to our fold. Suppose you had a bunch of extra white sheep standing on green grass, and you had the abilities of a wizard, and you wanted to stop them from getting picked off and eaten. What would you do? Here's my idea. Turn them green! Ha ha! Oh, and then we stand out. That's some horrible screaming. Well, what have we here? Oh, that's what comes of being in such a blazing hurry, I guess. I thought you looked a bit scrawny. Why, you'd hardly make a decent kindling. Hey, now. You couldn't tell that I wasn't a sheep? The fact that I was gray instead of white and long and standing up and had a stick? Ugh. Okay, well, so now we've got the dragon, we've got nowhere to go, and we've got a giant pile of gold. I remember seeing a cave like this before. Hmm. Well, we're going to explore this next time on Let's Play Loom.